Investigators are on the lookout for a serial arsonist who may be linked to as many as 30 fires in the last two years. For the facts first. The most recent fire happened just before 3.30 Saturday morning in the 400 block of South H Street in Lompoc. A man says he woke up and found his Volkswagen Bug up in flames. Well, the incident comes just a week after investigators say a car, boat and mattress were also destroyed on purpose. KSBY News reporter Ariel Wessler tracks the trail of arson in Lompoc. Like now it's starting to really set in. This classic 1969 Volkswagen Bug is the latest target in a series of arson crimes in Lompoc. My personal property, that was my car, that was my first car I ever bought. I just put a carpet kit in it, I had new speakers for it, all that stuff was inside of it, it all got burned up. It's not coming back, I'm not getting it back. The flames so widespread, they burnt this man's minivan parked next to it. It, it melted the hubcap. Singed the tail light, cracked the rear bumper, and damaged the side bumper, totaling a large chunk of change. That's $2,212. Despite the damage, it's not keeping him off the road. He uses the car every day to pick up his grandson from school. I'm glad it's uh, still drivable, because that's all I have to drive. Just last week, someone set a mattress on fire, which also destroyed a boat and a car nearby. It's very evident that they have no uh, regard for life safety, and that's our biggest concern, is that he's setting fires near inhabited dwellings. Fire investigators say they are looking into one possible suspect and warn residents to keep a watchful eye during the late night and early morning hours. Especially look out at uh, vehicles that are uh, abandoned or in disrepair. These seem to be the targets that he's uh, using. If arrested, the arsonist would likely face felony charges. Some residents say they are putting together a neighborhood watch to really be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. And the battalion chief that you heard from says he is willing to come to and speak to any citizens who have concerns about the situation. Reporting live tonight in the Santa Maria News Center, I'm Ariel Wessler. Tony, back to you.